Ebola. Let's be honest, it's, uh, it's not as scary as everyone's making it out to be. Way more people die every year from the flu, which is an airborne virus, unlike Ebola. Actually, let me, uh, let me take this thing off. The real epidemic is the constant, inescapable reporting. Seriously, you can't turn on the TV, listen to the radio, people still listen to the radio, or go online without hearing about breaking developments in the Ebola crisis. Live at 6, Ebola, or Ebola nonsense. We'll have the full report. Ebola even has its own Twitter account and has tweeted over 61,000 times, which is terrifying because once Ebola affects our social media, we are all hosed. Because Ebola tweets something, and then you retweet it, and then I retweet it, and then someone else retweets it, and before you know it, everybody on social media has Ebola. That's not how that works. But the news... Oh, okay. I shouldn't listen to the news, ever. Okay, good. Ebola is named after the Ebola River located in the Congo, which is just beautiful this time of year. I mean, seriously, I remember being little. We'd head on down to the Ebola River, go for a swim. Dad would be on shore, growing up some burgers and dogs. Simpler times. But really, unless you plan to visit one of these countries in the coming months or can even locate them on a map, you have nothing to worry about, no matter what the news tells you. Live at six, the news. Bullshit or not bullshit? Bullshit. There have only been five reports of Ebola outside of developing countries, so. <laughs> Let's relax. We're not dealing with a film Contagion here, not to be confused with the 2002 sci-fi thriller Contagion, which is just awful, all right? Hey Ebola, why don't you infect and kill that piece of shit? See, in the 2011 film Contagion, the 1995 hit Outbreak, if you come into contact with someone with the virus, you're a goner, unless you're Matt Damon. Nothing can kill Matt Damon. With Ebola, if you come in contact with someone with the virus, you're required to not leave your house for a 21-day quarantine period. Wait, is that right, 21 day? I don't have to leave my house for 21 days. Yeah, it's the law. So I wouldn't have to go to my girlfriend's parents' 35 year wedding anniversary party? <laughs> Sign me up. Seriously, if you have Ebola, let's share a high five or something, okay? I, I need this. So remember, there are a lot of things that are way scarier than Ebola, including all these mass shootings that are happening, the fact that Christopher Nolan doesn't have an Oscar, but 3-6 Mafia does, and the 2014 Michigan Wolverines. Go Buckeyes! Just always wash your hands, don't sneeze, bleed, or projectile vomit on people, and we're all gonna be just fine, okay? Seriously, we don't have anything to worry about. I'm not worried. This is for flu season. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Vine. I promise I don't tweet as much as Ebola. Okay. Jesse! There is a difference between climate and weather. And if you can't explain that, then maybe you should shut the f up. Because I'm sick and tired of having this f conversation every Thanksgiving.